these are colors you're going to get, not the size of the tubes that you're going to get, but these are the colors that you'll be ordering. You're also going to get four others over here. This is the size of the tube that you will get, unless you want the, these super large ones, but you, you don't need to get any larger than this. These are student grade paints. Uh, and this one is a professional grade paint. You will be getting one of this green. It's a Windsor green. It's uh, also known as a Thalo. Windsor is Windsor Newton's brand of Thalo. So if you can't find Windsor Newton, uh, Windsor green, you can get Grumbacher's Thalo green. But it, this is the one professional color you will be getting because they do not make it in a student grade. The difference between a professional and a student grade is the amount of pigment that goes into the paint uh, versus the medium. And most of the time the medium is safflower oil. Sometimes it's also linseed oil. Uh, really inexpensive, cheaper grades of student grade paints often uh, have less pigment and a lot more medium in them, so you end up using a lot of pig, a lot of paint to try and get what you want. Also, um, some other brands are not consistent in their color. So I have you get Winton, Winton brand by Winsor Newton, and what you will get is you'll have two reds, two yellows, two blues, two browns, you'll have a tube of white, and the Windsor Green. What you have here is a very limited palette. You have yellow, which is a primary color. You have red, which is a primary color. You have blue, another primary color. Primary color means that you cannot mix red by mixing in any other two colors together. You only have red, or you only have yellow, and you only have blue. You can mix your secondary colors by mixing blue and yellow. You will get green. By mixing yellow and red, you get orange. And by mixing red and blue, you will get violet or lavender, purple. Now, the reason that I have you get two of each, you have a warm and a cool red. You will have a warm and a cool yellow. You will have a warm and a cool blue. You will also have a warm and a cool brown. I will mark these for you when you come to class to help you remember. Then you will also have white and you will have the green. The fun part about this is we do not use this green to make green. Everybody goes, what? Huh? We don't use green to make green. We use green to make black. And we use these colors right here to make black. You use a red a brown, a blue, and a green. This green to make black. This green also comes in handy for other things. Now, the reason I have you get two of each, warm and cool, we'll just talk about the reds right now. This is a very pinkish red. It's called alizarin crimson, permanent alizarin. And you can thin this, <clears throat> excuse me, you can thin this with your medium and make a very pale, transparent, pink without having to lighten it with white. If you lighten it with white, you come up with what I call Valentine pink or pepto pink, which is not something that you want. And you, so you can't mix this color. So I have you get this color. This one, and it's, it's more towards the purple end of the reds. And your warm red is more towards the yellow or orange. So this one looks more orange if you can see right here uh, what's left around the tube. I will turn this. You see it's kind of an orangish red. What happens is if you take and you mix both of these reds together in the proper amount, and I will teach you that. And you see this one is a little more pink, and you can see it from the cap. Sorry, these are my old tubes that I use in class. When you mix these two together, you will get primary red. You will get cad red, medium, or primary red. When you mix your two blues together, you will get primary blue. And when you mix, you don't mix the yellows together. This actually is your primary yellow. It's confusing, I know, and each company is a little bit different, but that's how it works, okay?